in our world of discovery and inventions, we always find new material yearly, if it is not monthly, either in laboratory or by luck in nature, which have a strange behaviors without no or expected initially. One of these strange phenomena was a new material which is named as vanadium dioxide VO2. <coughs> Imagine a material that can harness excess heat from engines and use it to generate electricity. Imagine that same material could coat windows to trap heat in the winter but let it go in the summer. Imagine that same material working in computer ships, switching, switching itself on and off in less than 10 billion, 10 billion of seconds. Vanadium dioxide crystals could potentially make electronic circuits and surface coating to do all of these things. And researchers from Duke University, Lawrence Berkeley National, National Laboratory and other institutions are probing the limits of this unique molecule in a study of published in the journal Science. Vanadium dioxide strength properties do not end there. However, it also falls into a class of material call it mode insulator which resist heat and current flow at low temperature but switch into conductors which material scientists call metals after they warm up. Vanadium dioxide is an insulator until it hits about 65 Celsius degree then it turns into an electrical but not heat conductor. Mountain insulator is a metal that stops conducting at low temperature or high pressure, despite classical theory predicting conduction. The British physicist Sir Neville, Neville Francis Mott, Nobel laureate in physics in 1977 for his work on the electronic structure of magnetic and dis disordered system, especially amorphous semiconductors, pointed out a fatal flaw in the central approximation in band theory and inter-electron forces are not negligible. Vanadium dioxide BO2 nanobeam synthesis by Berkeley researchers shows exotic thermal and electrical properties. Smart glass can be activated to block infrared light while remaining transparent visible light from the sun. Anyway, it was my first knowledge to me that there are some kind of material which behave like insulator and metal depending on the temperature. It has some common properties with my findings of unknown material, as it acts like insulator and conductor. 2. The another strange material was carbon. The electrons of carbon atoms are in diversity shapes and it acts differently with electricity and heat carrying electrical current is depend, depend on having the free electron. Graphite, lead, good conductor and electricity. Diamond, no free electron, insulator, good thermal conductor. Graphene, one of the disruptive and strong material than steel. It is good electrical and thermal conductor. Amorphous carbon, it is not crystalline solid structure, it has high thermal conductivity. Buckminster fluorine. It is a type of fluorine with formula C60, good electric and thermal conductor. So as you see, one atom can act in different way according to its internal structure. The photo shows the allotropies of the carbon. The scientists and professionals are believing that incandescent lamps can be more efficient than LED and fluorescent lamps if we increase the operating temperature more than 2500 Kelvin to reduce the infrared light radiation. As we see in this graph of radiation spectrum, the higher point of radiation intensity of 2500 Kelvin is light on the infrared region. Increasing the temperature will change the point to be located in visible light region. But as we know, tungsten has medium melting point equal to 3-422 Celsius degree and we cannot reach out 
that noble objective to obtain visible light efficiently by ingesting material. LED lamps have a unique feature that it emits radiation in very narrow wavelengths, wavelengths of visible light, and that's the reason why they don't have any infrared light. Researchers develop LED covering full visible light spectrum by East and Nisha company. This photo re represents a spectrum comparison between different types of lighting lamps. So if this unknown material can withstand high operating temperature than 4000 Celsius degree or it was emitted high or it was emitted light in narrow wavelengths of visible light similar to LED lamp so it will be great news for lighting industry in the future. I don't have this scientific ability to figure out what is the unknown material and making a, pre a precise measurement for knowing the characteristics of that light, I did what I am capable of it. Four. Now I will tell you how this unknown material can change the lighting industry and compete fluorescent and LED lamps rather than incandescent lamps if we are accepting a bright yellow color as a reference for using in street and public places. If you watched video of section 7 which I was talking about features of unknown material, you will remember that I have said that there are a voltage forward DF on that material approximately equal to 5 volt. Voltage forward is always represented a quantity loss of energy, light, per charge, and you can imagine it as an elevation process of charge from lower to higher level orbital similar to the similar to what happened in LED technology as this based on the properties of semiconductor material. The amount of light produced in the LED is called as the optical power of LED. Now by finding the forward current IF which is passing in the total electrical circuit we can measure the resistance of unknown material. The current was approximately 0.24 ampere so by using Ohm's law, we will find that resistance on the unknown material as 20 Ohm. This value has been obtained in hot environment, operating temperature. I don't have precise tools to measure that micro piece of unknown material, so I will just depending on what I saw. The length and diameter of unknown material is less than 0.5 mm and 0.25 mm respectively. Simply. The specific resistivity will be 2 multiplied by 10 up to minus 3 ohm meter. Remember that value is on operating condition to give bright yellow color. Now tungsten the material in cold condition in cold condition 20 Celsius degree will have specific resistivity equal to 5.6 multiplied by 10 minus 8 ohm meter but in operating condition temperature of 2500 Kelvin a specific resistivity will in a specific the specific resistivity will increase it up to 3 multiplied by 10 up to minus 6 ohm meter due to the high vibration of molecules which is like obstacle when you drive in straight road that hot resistance of tungsten was be found in lengths of 0.5 meter. Now imagine that unknown material has been created a long wire with the same length of tungsten 0.5 meter. What do you think will happen to value of resistance of unknown material as we prove it? As we prove it, the specific resistivity of unknown material in hot environment operating temperature was 2 multiplied by 10 up to minus 3 ohm meter then the hot value of resistance will be 20,000 ohm in opposite to tungsten wire which was 768 ohm. Return to section 7. The current and power of this unique light circuit will be 0.012 ampere and 2.9 watt. This table shows an amazing comparison between incandescent, fluorescent and LED lamps and as I said previously if we accept the bright yellow color as reference. Day after day I was discovering new features for this unknown material and I found this 
features of forward voltage while I was preparing this video. I cannot say that low voltage source less than 6 volt may be work perfectly for lighting purposes because it gives a strange behavior as it cannot make the material in low resistance in, in low resistance in low resistance status very low current micro but if we use a high voltage as a starter then we can switch to low voltage immediately I have tested that in home slab it's very similar to the starter in the fluorescent lamp technology after the temperature increasing heating up the tungsten wire the gas mercury vapor inside fluorescent will be ionized and lamps will light starter will be separated from electrical circuit automatically warm it up and let it gas particles collide spontaneously Four. Sometimes even you try to search in the internet to see if someone has an explanation or has the same invention, you may fail. Although your case being studied, but it was found in the old reports hidden in the laboratory archive for logical reasons. In our life, we encounter too many challenges and trouble to move forward to achieve our goals, especially in the field of science, which filled with m many with mysterious phenomenon you may be working on a simple and new invention for months and experiments finally succeeds perfectly so you will be happy that your simple technology may change the world in that specific field as you think but the economic language has another opinion on that matter you have a business competitors in the market and your technology is far away from them as it will not attract any investment due to the high capital and operation cost of your invention. In that moment, you will feel that your efforts has been vanished in one second because of the economical red flag. That's what happened to me when I realized in my invention related to the aerodesalination that it is not economical, although the experiment has good results. Aerodesalination terms has used by me only which means convert air to fresh water. Any fresh or junior scientist will always think of, about a simple idea and he has, and he or she will ask his or her self why other companies using very complicated ideas on their system. It is weird thing. When you are starting the experiment, you will notice many things happen and you will realize that main reasons for canceling this idea totally by company. It is only a matter of economical side, not scientific proof of your theory, which prevent you to go in that way. Universities have been built for giving you a scientific principles and knowledge. It is impossible to give you every history detail of any systems as there is no time for that. And a lecturer may also don't know exactly why they are neglected on an old system, especially if it has improved since 15 years ago. Or maybe the results of all systems found in the archive of laboratory or research centers only. You will not find it in any websites, even recent textbooks will not discuss it. That matter of old system because the authors like to catch up the progression of new systems rather than waste of time an old system which was inefficient and high cost investment. Maybe you think it was a waste of time, of my time, but actually even I was upset that time, but it led me to open my mind and increase my knowledge as it helps me to understand exactly why scientists and professionals still use new systems today. This knowledge will definitely give me a power to continue for searching and a creative ideas by analyzing the difference between the old and new systems for connecting the dots of efficiency and economic. That will not happen unless you follow the latest scientific papers, articles and inventions. But it may take a long time and modern equipment similar to the technology of making diesel fuel from air by Germany company named as Sunfire. And now it is operated in Germany and Canada. The old idea was named Waldfischer Trobesch process and found in 19th 
2020, which is a collection of chemical reactions that converts carbon monoxide and hydrogen into liquid hydrocarbon, and it was first developed by Francis Fischer and Hans Trobos. But for economical visibility reasons, the idea has not seen the sun of life until recently in 21 century because we solve the economical side by improving the methods perfectly. So be optimistic and don't give up. One day you will see the path of success. Finally, I would like to thank some friends and colleagues in science and technology field who were giving me very informative feedback and they follow my progress about anything that I shared about the experiment when I was in the beginning of the experiments of the strange phenomenon in March 2019. So I think that by mentioning them will be considered as grateful sense for giving me their glory time for, for commenting. 1. Inventor E.D. Equindo, USA. He's one of my the best connection in LinkedIn professional website. I knew him for three or four years ago and he is very inspired and out of thinking inventor. He has great invention beyond the imagination. He had innovative broadcast technology, which is a treasure of intellectual property that operated, that created the method of the most efficient way to produce clean electricity wirelessly. He also has a technology that dominates gravity using the quantum levitation which can float permanently without anything underneath. It is proposed it is opposite of what we saw in the magnetic train or it is named a maglev train. I love this quote which stated by him who can see through the gap is ahead in the technology. 2. David Fink, USA. He is an unexperienced attorney from Houston, Texas, especially in the intellectual property more than 20 years. He is a partner in Fink and Johnson law firm. I was know him from a group named as Houston Inventors Association, HIA, in Facebook social website. He is modest, polite man and loving inventions too much according to what I see how he is interacted with other members in that group. He cares about the interest of the inventors and gives me great advice about how to protect my ideas and inventions from fraud people and greedy companies, which I like, which like to steal the efforts of others. 3. Parasua Adidini Suhi I was reach it here via, via research get website after she published her articles and projects related to the gas ionization. She is a research assistant in Concordia University, Montreal, Canada. She is currently posting the PhD degree with the Nanotechnology Research Group ECE Department Concordia University investigations of fundamental issues related to the semiconductors, nanowires with applications in sensing and energy storage devices are part of her research interests in the field of nanoscience and nanotechnology. She was from Iran. Dr. Liang Chiu, China. I was able to contact him after I was searching for scientific papers related to the gas ionization field the paper was named as analytical model of three regions of cold cathode breakdown in helium and after i sent to him an email he responded to my message gratefully and happily he gives me useful thought and suggestions and the end of this message he wished me a good luck in my scientific progress he is working in the department of electrical engineering and information science at Ruhr University, Bosham in Germany. 5. Borov Igor Kaganovich, USA. He was a co-author to the previous paper with Dr. Liang Xu, so I found his email from that paper. He is working in the Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory, PPPL, in USA. So, thanks for them and for you to watch my scientific informative video and I hope that you have been enjoyed. See you later in another scientific adventure.